the light through the trees is so cool. I actually really like it here in fall. Yeah. I think it's my favorite season, as long as it's warm and warm enough and not raining. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know what it is, like 15 degrees or something. It's still nice. Bantrix Park. A Beatrix. Yeah. I said it's a nice little park. Uh, it doesn't get any tourists or anything. Yeah. There's actually a really cool like uh, kids climber here that's in like, it's called Spaceship Kids Park. It's like a giant right. spaceship that's landed. It's kind of neat. Cool. You can see that if you just look in right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Covered in graffiti though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great. The cool kids. <laughs> the graffiti kids. Teenagers go and hang out there. Yeah. So, I don't know about you, but these are the type of uh, routes that I like the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's true. laughs> and I think you and I talked about that in our uh, interview in uh, December of when you're able to get on a path like this and you're completely away from motor vehicle traffic. Yeah. It's just so pleasant. Yeah, and this is usually the fastest way to get there too. So, okay. this is what you'd want to take in any case. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to turn left up here. Okay. I don't come out here very often. And look at the condition of this path. Wow. Yeah. Well, this is really nice. We within the last few years. Yeah. We looked at maybe living there. But okay. It just felt like Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just new condos. <laughs> yeah. Nice enough. Yeah. But, and we've lived in stuff like that in other cities, but it kind of felt like, why are we coming to Amsterdam and living in yeah. a new condo? I don't know, that's the North American bias. Yeah, yeah. Going through there. They're perfectly nice. They're perfectly nice. Condos. Yeah. And it's actually a little pedestrianized area in there. It's actually a really nice group of build, buildings. Hey, this, this is nicer than riding on the road, right? <laughs> Well, Jason, what? This is nicer <laughs> than riding on the road? Yeah, riding next to the busy road there that yeah. you're on. This is the parallel route, I suppose. This is the route that I would take if I were coming up this way. This is Rembrandt Park. Right. Um, the same as most of the parks. They uh, they design it so that it's like a like a highway for bicycles. But that you, that's still compatible with the, with the park. So this works really well. Right. That's a nice, safe way to get to the other end of the city as well as being a park. And those new condos there you see are right on the park. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice. A lot of bicycle infrastructure, advocates, activists, fundamentalists, like poo-poo the whole concept of off-street network pathways. And I get it if it's not connected and doesn't go to anywhere. Yeah. But the whole point is it's way more comfortable to be on this than out on the road. Yeah. So it's like, I'll take this any day. And I think Jason Slaughter too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is nice. It's exactly the route that I take if I need to get, if I need to get to uh, like out of us. Yeah, and it's like, you know, would you rather be in trees, you know, greenery, hear people talking when it's not super windy, <laughs> uh, rather than, you know, around a whole bunch of exhaust yeah. and cars. I mean, again, it, 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 connectivity is key. The, this has to be able to connect to meaningful destinations. You need to be able to get on it and off it. But uh, I don't know, I'm sold. And, Notice the lights. Um, you can ride this at night. Yeah. Yeah. So, night. Yeah. I don't know when they when they do um, bicycle paths through uh, parks in North America. It's usually done just because it's cheap and easy, not because it actually gets people to where they want to go. Yep. But it can be cheap and easy, and then if you connect it properly to a separated bike network, it can be very functional as well. This is, this is not expensive infrastructure. 
No, but it has an excellent return on investment. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that is key. Yeah, oh, hi, doggy. Yeah, uh, Jordan and I were just having this conversation too about he's doing work on a on a multi-use. Is it multi-use path? Yeah. 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 It's being talked about like a recreational facility yeah. instead of the mm -hmm. of multiple uses and purposes. Yeah. Meaning. Look at how wide this connected. is. Though, too. Yeah, I know. And I mean, there's actually that's the walking path. Right. So that, that's I mean you can walk on this if you want. You jog on it. Yeah. That's the walking path. This is the bicycle path. Yeah. This is like. I don't know what this is. I think this is over four meters, right? It looks about five to me. I don't know. Anyway, I mean, this is plenty comfortable. So here it says in 50 meters, but 200 feet are from in. Aha. Woohoo! Surf the wind. Ah, nice. yeah, that is nice. That's much better. So now we're in Vesper Park. I guess I've taken you through three parks now. Three parks, yeah. Beatrix Park, Rembrandt Park, and Vesper Park. And, wow. and see, we, and we did Vondel Park earlier, so. Yeah, you we, did Vondel Park. We've, right, uh, so. We're hitting some of the big parks. Yeah. Love the trees here on this yeah. one. Again, this is a really nice big wide path. Mm -hmm. This is even wider than what we were on in uh, Rembrandt Park. And, it's perfectly nice. The busy road is over there, so we don't have to be there. There is still a bicycle path, a protected bicycle path on that road. And, you know, that it's, maybe it's a little bit faster to take that instead of coming up here. Although once you include traffic lights, probably not. And that's the kind of the Google Maps will put you over there. Right. When this is here. Yeah. So even if this took me a minute or two longer, why, why would I be over there instead of here? Yeah, yeah. Which is such an interesting concept too, because in North American mentality, it's like fastest route from A to B and not thinking about what's more pleasant. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But also the fastest route tends to be the car route. They are one of the same, right? Because it's right. made to be fastest for cars. So right. The, it's, it's a little bit backwards to think that it would be faster to not go the way the cars go. <laughs> we don't also, also don't need to be that close to those fire trucks, which is nice. <laughs> So as we were saying before the fire trucks so rudely interrupted us. Oh, and by the way, did you see the size of those fire trucks? Like half the size <laughs> of our fire trucks in North America, but that's a whole nother topic. But as you were saying, it was like, you know, it's, it, it may necessarily, or may be quote unquote faster A to B over there, but it's certainly not very close. Yeah, yeah. If you hit all the green lights. Yeah. So, but I, I wouldn't want to ride there yeah. when I can ride there. Agreed. But you know, it's still safe to ride over there. That's the thing. Like it, by yeah. North American standards, it's not like it's some big strode where you're along like high speed traffic and in a painted bike lane. It's still what Americans would call a protected bike lane. It's still perfectly safe. It's just, this is better. Right. Yeah. And it is sl a slightly different context. Uh, in our interview in December, we had some video footage of one of the uh, kind of constrained old downtown areas and uh, hey, you can just feel the stress because of all the you know curb cuts and or you know yeah. whatever you know all the businesses and all the points where you have conflict yeah. um, this is a different context but still much com more comfortable yeah. over here yeah for sure Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this little ride with Jason Slaughter. Uh, and if you did, please 
give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, it'd be honored to have you subscribe to the Active Towns channel. Uh, just hit that subscription button down below and be sure to ring the notifications bell and select your notification preferences. Uh, I certainly appreciate it. And the other thing I really appreciate are all of you who are helping to support the channel uh, via Patreon, uh, buy me a coffee, YouTube super thanks, you can do that right here on YouTube, as well as buying things from the Active Town store and making donations to the nonprofit. Oh, and by the way, did you know, if you are a Patreon supporter, you will actually have early and commercial free access to all of this content. So for as little as a dollar a month, you could also have that as a nice little side benefit. Again, thank you so very much. Until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers.